Anyone comic worth reading, Dog Life Chris here. We are going to bust open what looks to be a thick boy here. The Joker, issue number three. We're gonna have to have problems with my hair freaking dripping. Seriously. Six dollar comic. Tell me why DC has got the most expensive books around. Five ninety nine? Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, I wish it was I wish it was like spawn prices here. Two ninety nine for a spawn comic book. Still since like the late nineties, early nineties. Todd, you're killing it, bro. DC, what are y'all doing? This is the reason why. So we can pay for y'all's bull. I mean I'm not saying Black Lightning is bull, but all these CW movies, uh T V series, sitcoms or whatever you call wanna call them. They're not like well made you know they're kind of like c class series it's not you're not making seinfeld over here which was a great series at the time of their pinnacle not so much anymore i'm not i haven't watched seinfeld in years let's just say that anyways joker issue number three chapter seven one bad day dang it's so little it's so little I really, I really, I thought uh, Marvel was the only ones who did little print. I'm ashamed to admit it, but there are still nights when it all comes back to me that night at Amusement Mile. I can feel the leather and the collar digging into my neck. I can feel the cold night air on my naked body. I could smell the sweat off the circus sideshow act, drugged up into a frenzy, dragging me towards his throne. Mm. Spaghetti. I remember the panic rising in my chest as I tried to grapple with what was happening all around me. I asked deliriously what I was doing there, and then a voice of that devil responded, Doing? You're doing what any sane man in your appalling circumstances would do. You're going mad. <laughs> The Joker issue two, Ty Ro wait, James Ty Noian fourth was the writer. A whole bunch of people took part in the making of this. Look at that face, freaking gruesome. For a few moments, I actually believed him. Uh, it was hard not to. That's the trick of the Joker. It always feels like if he knows what you're thinking and that he can say the words before they come out of your mind, when he looks at you with his cold, shark eyes, they cut right through to you, to the bone. You feel transparent, you feel small, and then his cruel lips begin to turn up as he says everything you never wanted anyone to say. And when you start to break, that's when the laughter takes hold of him and the sound of it destroys you. The self-satisfaction and the cruelty of it all. <laughs> Old naked man. When it all started, I didn't take him serious enough. None of us did. I thought he was a distraction from an important work that I was doing with Batman and Harvey Dent. We were fighting corruption in the stronghold of criminal organization. And here was this psychopathic, oh, psychotic clown who seemed to want attention more than anything else. Okay, so we've learned from reading comics that if the picture continues, you go here, you, you don't come down, but yeah. Let's just take a break. Look at this fancy fine artwork. Yes, okay, okay, okay. I used to get, uh, I used to get angry when Batman would prioritize the criminals with gimmicks over the ones who thought were a, so it was the ones I thought, I thought were a real danger to the city, but time would change that. After that night in Amusement Mile, it was never the same. The Joker had an agenda that night, and he wanted to prove, he wanted to prove to Batman that one bad day can turn even the most sane person in Gotham insane. But in a way, he failed. But in a way, he didn't fail. You fricked up that night. 
I think he wanted to leave me a gibbering mess, but I wasn't mad. I was able to pull myself together enough to show Batman that the Joker hadn't broken me. And in time, I would show my daughter the same. I would be the rock they needed me to be. But forever after that night, when I closed my eyes, I could see him waiting for me. I could hear him laughing. <laughs> he keeps saying that too all the time. He's like, I could hear him laughing. He's been saying that for uh, two years now. Uh, yeah, a year, two years. Anyways, here we go. They're getting on a flight. Oh, she, I don't know who. Okay, she's waiting for him. He's getting out of the car. I'm glad to see you, Gordon. I wish I could say the same to you, Chris, Crescinda. So this this is issue three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop you up a little bit. Issue one and two. This girl is what is it called? Talon. She's a Talon. She's a Court of the Owls girl. Yeah, she's not a Talon. She's just a Court of the Owls girl. And the Court of the Owls want the Joker dead, and they were gonna pay him X million. I can't remember if it's tens of millions, hundreds of millions. It's just, it's more than one million. It's a lot of millions. They're going to pay Gordon to do the, to, to do, yeah, the deed. And he kind of is in agreement. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I think I'm going to do it. But he kind of doesn't know if he has the courage to do it yet. So this is the handler. She's the one who approached him. She told him, she set this whole thing up. She's getting him flights and whatever money up front here's a little bit sure all right so i wish i could say the same to you Crescinda. this all has this all has me a bit unnerved and if i'm being completely honest she cut him off i have the utmost confidence in you and your abilities we all do she cut him off she cut me off witch we've gathered some limited intelligence on the on the ground in Belize, where the Joker is supposed to be hiding. In Belize. There are a number of off-the-books resorts in the region, and we suggest you begin there. My man will fly you to the landing strip where Joker is... A, where Joker arrived. Also, this whole Belize thing. So, the Court of the Owls and very, very rich people, they are renting out these like airbnb so to say for criminals and the price is like marked up to the highest mark marked up possible price but it gives the criminals a place to lay low and stay quiet and it's the real thing i don't know it's like what why would they be hiding the joker he's gonna freak things up over there so i don't know she knows about the places she told gordon she got on, you know, her intelligence happening. It's popping. It's popping off. We know where he's at. You're flying there. We we'll expect you to fly commercially from Belize, but if you feel you need to be moved between countries unseen, call this number on the dossier and we'll do our best to arrange it. Weapons will be a little more difficult. I figured I'll be able to see to that myself. For now, I have a handgun in my suitcase. Very, very good, Mr. Gordon. This is the bank card we promised, hence the money we said. He, you can withdraw any amount and charge any amount. Oh, here's the price. What if I took out the full 25 million and just retreated myself on a nice vacation? I don't know, Mr. Gordon. What if you did that? So the price is 25 million for the Joker's head. Heck, I mean, I would have been like, Call it 125. This is a lot of risk and less reward. There's no reward other than you're saving people in the long run. Killing the Joker, is that really a reward in that? $125 million. Then we'll get rid of this clown bag. Maybe. That's just me thinking. Well, I. You're a good man. We trust you to do the job you were being hired to do, but... I do hope that you treat yourself a little. Get the big room with the view. Buy yourself some new clothes. We have deep pockets and feel our interests are best served with you comfortably. Uh, with served with you comfortable. So get comfortable there. 
There is a bottle of champagne on board. The flight will be about five hours and then the hunt begins. Bon voyage. Happy hunting. You see his his face of unsurety. Is that a word? Unsurety? He still he doesn't know if he can do it. Yes, he he's saying like I have to get myself in that situation. Maybe pump myself up and then I'll know. Can I kill this or not? This looks like an ex Talon member that we have on board the plane. Probably just keeping an eye on him for the time being. It's a nice plane, I'll tell you that. You're not going to say a damn thing to me this whole flight, are you? And he walks away. I figured as much. How does this dang thing... I'm going to stop saying that. How does this dang thing work? We gave him an iPhone or... Cellular device. Wheels up. Love you, kid. Keep an eye on me. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, that's the phone that they gave him to... You know, Oracle, a.k.a. his daughter, Barbara Gordon. And she moonlights still as Batwoman, does she? No, she moonlights it. She's a part of the Bat Gang. And, and yeah, let's just say that. Because there's the young crew that's here too. Then, uh, What's their name? The Orphan? I forget. There's like too many. I forget their names. Spectre or something like that. I don't know. Cassandra Kane is Batgirl. And you'll see her in the Asian what's it called? The Asian Superhero Celebration. It just came out last week. It's a hundred page little nine dollar book that I skipped out on because I find them to be a little bit redundant. It has no part of the actual storylines is just like oh we're doing this thing yeah shout out to asian folks and all that but i'm not there's a black one coming out soon i'm not buying that one either so it has nothing to do with the race it's just it doesn't tie in well to me so whatever cassandra did you get that tracker on the plane yes and the car yes you know this isn't fair you're going to help me. You're going to help me interpret the data, Steph. Okay, this is Steph, and I forgot what her name was. She was in. She was in Future State with Red Hood. Yeah, she was in that. I think. No, 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 no. She was in Future State, and it was uh, Jason Todd, like the new Robin what's Robin doing future state she she was in it Stephanie that's not as cool as what she does less likely to get you killed too now Cass she's on the move get into position there's too many bat family there's like seven bat family there's Jace it is Jace's brother doing bat stuff I find that weird because they hate each other like, you guys are both Batman people, and you don't know it, and then you hate each other. You should just be friends again and, and be a team. One day that'll happen, I'm sure. That's son of Batman. In position now. Okay, now, let's see who you really are, Crescenda. Crescida? Cressida. Whatever, the f how do you pronounce that? Chapter 8, Gut Work. Oh, here we go with the little freaking text. You find shortcuts and streamline your process. You find shortcuts and streamline your process. You begin to sort out information differently. It starts for me back on homicide. It started for me back on homicide in Chicago. You start to see different ways people kill and die. You start grouping them together. There's a wrong way to do it. A lazy way. I remember seeing another detective leap past all of the evidence on a domestic homicide to finger the husband because it's almost always a husband. And But he didn't want to do the extra legwork. I figured it out. It was the manager of the nightclub she'd been working at because she had been cautious for weeks trying to cover her tracks. She was worried she was going to die. And that worry was directed outward, not into the home. 
Every murder is typ typically a statement. It sends a message. It, sa it says, I hate this woman. I hate myself. I'm scared. Or I want people to notice me. You spend enough time doing the job and you start to feel, you start to get the feel of what's being said in the crime scene. And you start to get a gut feeling of the sort of person who says it. And then there are the exceptions to the rule. The Joker. Oh, look, here's the African black whatever comic that's coming out. I mean, this is the only cool guy I see. I don't even know these other guys. Static Shock, Icon, Rocket, Hardware. I don't know these guys at all. Yeah, but that's coming out soon at the end of this month. And it's a 48 page one shot. Whatever. Joker kills like it's punctual. It accents and defines everything else he says. It's how he communicates that people need to talk to him to take him seriously, despite dressing like a clown and acting like a fool. It's a deliberate choice. Every time it doesn't come from blood, every time it doesn't. It doesn't come from bloodlust. It's a part of the performance. And that is what makes it so difficult to find his inactive periods. Victims of typical serial killers are usually important to the assailant in some way. They think they love them or they think they hate them or something. Maybe they're not specifically important. Maybe they're just re represent a sort of a person who invokes a strong feeling in the killer but there is usually a reason. And more importantly, there's usually some kind of compulsion to kill again. What's going on in here? The thrill of the crime is addictive to, to them, whether it is to hunt or to kill or what they take from their victims. They can't stop themselves from doing it again and again until they've captured or killed. I don't know what this scene is. Like, where, what are y'all? Where are you? The heck is this? This looks like some Marvel Hydra character. Yeah? Little print, great, I love it. But then there's the Joker. We had an FBI, FBI profiler. Uh, we had a profiler in from the FBI, right about the time everyone in Gotham realized they needed to be a lot more scared of clowns. She laid out her interpretation of the Joker's details and pointed out the similarities between all of the Joker's victims on his latest crime spree. I remember being suspicious because these new victims had so little in common with the people he targeted before, but I hadn't been made commissioner yet, so the agents ignored my warning that something was off. He ended up leading the whole team into a death trap. Yada, yada, yada. I've got to use the restroom. I'm not going to read all this. Let's fast forward. He's in Belize. All right. And then here you can see what happened. Yada, yada, yada. He lands. He's doing his thing. Knock, knock, knock. Guinness. I'm sorry. Uh, my Spanish isn't too strong. I was just hoping to ask a few questions. I'm looking for an old friend of mine. Jimbo, is that really you? <laughs> the way he looks like, holy shnikes. Is that the Joker? Man, he sure did draw his weapon fast though. How does this fool have like people behind him already? Guns down everyone, guns down. That's an old pal of mine from Gotham City. Oh, the fun we used to have. I think this is a off, I think this is a or get off the pot moment. Oh, I think this is a or get off the pot moment, Jim. You're talking. There we go. See, we're all friends here. Oh, Jimmy boy, you showed up just in time. This sort of thing is all too grisly without an audience, you know, and love. What the hell are you talking about, Joker? 
You see, Jim, I didn't know if you were aware, but a few weeks ago somebody gassed Arkham Asylum and blew half the place up. I know you did it. But, you see, that's the darndest thing, Jim. I didn't. This Bane-looking girl. Someone just wants everyone to think I did. And now, everyone's going to try and come and kill me. And you are just in time for the fun. They just took out our men in the trees and they're coming up the hill now. Oh, crap. <laughs> Keep that gun drawn, Jimbo. You are gonna need it. War Bunnies next. And then here's Punchline. Chapter 3, we're not reading that. Joker issue 3, anyone comic book reading? We are out this sucker! Stay tuned for more readings and for more Comic Book Wednesdays.